Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new case for the Raspberry Pi 4. Now as making this video, this is the only retro style console case that I've seen for the Pi 4, other than 3D printed stuff listed on eBay and Etsy. But before we get into it, I do want to mention that this has nothing on the retro flag cases for the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspberry Pi 3B+. I've been waiting on them to release some cases for the Raspberry Pi 4, and rumor is they do have a couple in the works, but as of making this video, retro flag doesn't have anything out, so we're going to be taking a look at this new SNES style case that I picked up on Amazon for $14.99. And obviously, this is specifically designed for the Raspberry Pi 4. We have a totally different layout on the side, and the Ethernet and USB positions have been swapped. So you can't use an old Raspberry Pi 3 or a 3B Plus case for your Pi 4. And like I mentioned, this really can't be compared with the retro flag cases. This doesn't have a power switch or anything like that. It's a simple injection molded case, kind of modeled around the North American SNES. Does come with instructions, get a little screwdriver, some rubber feet, and your screws. Overall, it's definitely a very simple case, and let's go ahead and take a closer look here. So on the front of the unit, there is no USB. There's no controller ports or even stickers on the case itself. We do have a little cutout that we can add a power LED if we wanted to. On the right-hand side, we do have full access to the Pi 4's SD card. And on the left-hand side, we'll have access to our Ethernet and USB ports. And real quick, I just wanted to mention that the Pi 4 status LEDs will be fully visible when this is enclosed in the case. The base version of this case is $14.99 and it doesn't come with any heat sinks, but it does come with a fan pre-installed. You can run this on 5 volts from the GPIO or 3.3. So obviously this isn't as feature packed as some of the other great cases we have for the Raspberry Pi 3 or the 3B+, but this is all we have right now as making this video for the Raspberry Pi 4. I've actually been searching around for a while for retro style console cases, and yes, you can find 3D printed stuff, but this is manufactured with injection molding and it's actually super clean. So assembly on this case is super easy. Like I mentioned, you can run this fan at 5 or 3.3 volts depending on the GPIO pins you connect it to, and I would recommend running a cheap fan like this on 3.3. They do include a little card here that tells you exactly how to hook it up for quiet mode. This case does not come with a heat sink, but I just added a cheap little 20 millimeter aluminum heat sink here. This will not suffice for overclocking, but at the stock speeds it should be fine with this heat sink and the fan running at 3.3 volts. So let's go ahead and slap this thing together. It's really easy to do. I'm going to grab the bottom half of the case and my Raspberry Pi 4. By the way, this is just a little 2 gigabyte model. Seems to sit in here really nice. None of the included screws go on the interior of this case. Everything's going to be held together when you put the top half of the case on and screw it down with the four included screws. I'm just going to connect the fan to the correct GPIO pins for 3.3 volts or quiet operation. And the top half of the case should snap on here. Like I mentioned, we can see those status LEDs on the Pi 4 from the top. And they've also included a spot where you could add your own LED. I have a couple videos on that. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in doing that to a case like this. And now all that's left to do is put the four included screws in the bottom. You can also add the rubber feet that are included if you'd like to. So yeah, it went together really nicely. We do have easy access to all the ports on the Pi from the Ethernet, USB, to the mini HDMI, and 3.5mm audio jack on the rear. Plus, we can get right to the SD card without disassembling anything. I will have to admit, I'm not a big fan of the design, and I think we've really been spoiled by the retro flag cases. Unfortunately, the power buttons on here don't work. There's not even stickers on the front to kind of mimic the controller ports, and I really wish they would have just added at least two USB ports up front here. But until Retro Flag comes out swinging, or you don't mind using a 3D printed case, this is all we have in the retro style console cases for the Pi 4 as of making this video. I'm sure Retro Flag has something awesome in the works for the Pi 4, so I would personally hold off on this case, take that $15 that you were going to spend on this, and save it until a better case is released for the Pi 4. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I just wanted to give you a quick look at this case for the Raspberry Pi 4. I was really excited when it popped up in my Amazon feed, but I'm really disappointed with it, especially at that $15 price point. Not much going on here, so this is something I would pass on. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.